Is it weird to be eating it like this? Probably. Hello, before this video gets started, I do want to quickly disclaim that I do discuss things like calories and working out and weight loss, that type of stuff. So if that is triggering to you, please don't watch this video. I am not a health professional in any way, shape or form. This is just me sharing what I'm doing with my life for those of you who are interested and want to watch that. But if anything like that is triggering to you, please don't watch this video and I will catch you in my next one. Enjoy. My hair looks so blonde. Wow. Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel back in business baby so as i mentioned in my previous weekly vlog i said i was thinking about starting a cut because i just want to literally that's what it comes down to i haven't had any like physical goals with the gym other than getting stronger and just working on that but i think i'm in a place now where i'm kind of wanting to take steps to do a cut and just have a more concrete goal of just lowering my body fat percentage and just seeing what we can do obviously trigger one in this video is going to talk a little bit about calories and weight loss i guess and that type of topic so if that does trigger you please click out of the video um because i would hate to upset anyone also if you don't know what i mean when i say cut i just mean i'm gonna be eating in a calorie deficit so i'm burning more calories than I'm taking in, which results in fat loss. More so when I'm after. I'm after fat loss, not weight loss in any way. And I also want to try and maintain my muscle mass. I'm also coming off being sick. I actually haven't been to the gym in two weeks, so I'm definitely not as strong and as, you know, where I was a couple of weeks ago, which is fine. In terms of my program, I'm following a Train With Soph program. I will have that linked down below. I've been doing that for over two months now, and I really, really like it. I feel like I've gotten really good results from it since you know from kind of doing more progressive overload training rather than like group fitness styles it's just a different style of training I feel like my glutes have gotten a lot bigger I feel like I've gained muscle I've gotten stronger I'm really really enjoying it so yeah definitely check it out if you're keen in terms of the calorie side of things and the eating side of things I am going to be tracking what I'm eating that's personally what I like to do that's how I've gotten results in the past I just like to know exactly what's going into my body I really want to make sure I'm maintaining a really good protein in intake and obviously so I know that I'm in a deficit and all that fun stuff so what I kind of want this video to be is showing you the types of food that I'm eating and the training that I'm doing and I want to do a bit of like a physique like before type of situation and I want to emphasize that I'm not unhappy with my body whatsoever it's just it's just something that I want to do. Having goals in the gym is super, super important for me personally because it keeps me motivated. I also did get my period today, which is so annoying because obviously on your period, you feel a lot weaker and blah, 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 blah. So but yeah, that is basically everything that I wanted to discuss at the start of this video. I don't have like a time frame of what I want to do this for, probably around six to 12 weeks. I know that's a very large window, but I'll probably take it a lot slower at the start because if I'm all of a sudden in a deficit, my body is probably going to be like, heck so the best thing to do is kind of ease into it and one thing that's different this time around is I'm really into you foods I actually got um, my delivery this morning it just makes my life so much easier it's easy to track but with that said I do still obviously make my own meals etc also this video is sponsored by Gymshark which is so exciting if you guys saw my Instagram they've come out with flares and I have been living in them because they are so comfortable this is what they look like are they not like just so flattering on your bum I am in love. I have these in the khaki green as well. They're so smooth, so comfy, nice and high-waisted. And the length on these is so good. I'm pretty sure, and this is like a phenomenal length. So if you're really tall, I don't know how these would go, but all the shorties in the world, oh my God, this is so exciting. Because <laughs> usually when I wear flares, the flare part is like on the floor. You know? <laughs> so that is super exciting. Let me just quickly show you now. So these are the khaki ones. So as you can see, they're like a really smooth, like spandexy material. I have them in an extra small and they're honestly so comfy. I've got these in the really pretty terracotta shade and I love what they've done with the logo, how it's kind of like the same color, just darker. And these are a really nice length, so you can kind of wear them longer if that's your jam. Or you can do that little trick where you just hike them up and make them a little bit shorter. They've also got them in, obviously, the full length leggings. Again, really nice length on me, which is rare. <laughs> and these are the crops. So definitely more of like a long line sports bra, I would say. They've got the nice ruching in the middle. And they are kind of that like low support, more for yoga type of vibe. So very, very nice. 
See how pretty that is? They've just nailed that green though. I'm so obsessed. I love it. And then they also have a bodysuit, which do you call it a bodysuit or a unitard? Or is that not the term? I don't know. I thought, oh, I don't know whether this is going to be my cup of tea, but I tried it on and I was like, it's kind of a vibe. I kind of like this. And wearing this to the gym would be so comfortable because you wouldn't have to move anything. And I love the low back. I think that's so pretty. And it's got the ruching in the middle. So it just looks nice and flattering. And again, it's that super smooth, stretchy swimming material. <laughs> so it just like smooths out everything and, and just looks beautiful. Oh, and while I'm here, they also came out with some new colors of the Minimal Sports Bra. Like, look at this purple. Oh my God. When I first tried the Minimal Sports Bra, I got them in like my normal size, like a small. And they were very, very small on me. Obviously, because I have a bigger chest, they were just like a little bit too small. So then I tried them in a medium and I was like, oh yeah, this is a lot better. And then I thought, let's just go a large and see if that's like a lot more coverage. Obviously, it's meant to be minimal coverage. I just love the style of these with the no back. So I wanted to be able to wear these. The large is definitely a little bit loose on me, but I just kind of tie it up at the top and it gives me more coverage. So if you like the style, but you have a bigger chest, maybe try just going up a few sizes and they honestly still work. I would love if Gymshark came out with like the same vibe, but just more coverage in the front. That would be awesome. So yeah, you can kind of see I tie it up at the top like that. Kind of like a bikini. And then this is in like a really pretty green color. Oh my God, I love. These are the black shorts too, by the way. I think if you're after just like a classic pair of black shorts that you want for the gym that don't have any like bells and whistles on them, like no scrunch bum, just a good pair of black shorts. I think these would be so good. So good. Okay. But yeah, I'll have everything listed down below. Everything is live at the moment on the website. So you can go shop everything through my affiliate links if you would like. So I'm going to shut up now and I will see you probably at the supermarket. <laughs>
and that is it i think and then i didn't pick up any of those cheese snacks because i'm stupid that is everything that i picked up from the supermarket I'm outside the gym. I think I'm gonna go through two different workouts in this video. Um, kind of like an upper and lower. I think kind of like an upper body day and a lower body day. But I really do want to film like a week of workouts so you can kind of see in detail every single workout that I do in a week, you know? But for this video, I'm just gonna do upper body and then lower body. So upper body today. This is my first proper week back at the gym, like I said. I'm feeling pretty strong, which is surprising. Yesterday I did legs, so I'm definitely feeling it. Um, but yeah, today, let me actually have a look what's on the edge. I'm actually gonna switch my days around a little bit just because Monday because normally I do Monday legs But I did Monday more of like a push day. So today I'm gonna do a bit of a pull day So although I've got pull-ups as the first exercise and I don't know if I want to do that because I don't love pull-ups So I might do like lap pull down. Anyway, let's go inside Hopefully the gym isn't too busy so I can film and not feel super awkward It's funny when I'm with people at the gym filming is so fine I don't even think twice about it, but when I'm on my own, I just feel I don't know. It's just like filming in public, I suppose. So let's get crack a -lack in. Okay, so I thought I would talk through my workouts because I never do this, but I wanted to kind of speak about what I'm doing. So like I said in the video, I'm meant to be doing pull-ups as the first exercise, but I didn't feel like doing them. So I'm just doing some lap pull downs and you want to do eight to 12 reps. And then I actually dropped down the weight because it was a little bit too much, but that's good because it means that I'm pushing myself to failure essentially and you want to try and be going heavier every time because I feel like that's one mistake that I made in the beginning is not pushing myself enough um so I'm really excited to see kind of the results which I definitely think my back has improved a lot and then the next exercise I'm doing a superset I'm going to do 10 push-ups um, you can do these on your toes, of course, and then I'm supersetting that with some single arm cable pull downs. I'm not, okay, I'm still on the push ups. <laughs> um, here we go. I'm doing these with both my knees on the floor, but I think you can do them with like one knee up or one leg up or whatever you want to call it. And I'm doing 10 each arm. Probably could have gone a little bit heavier with this, but I wanted to really control my reps and make them nice and... <laughs> Sorry, you can hear Charlie in the background. Make them nice and controlled. You know, time under tension type of situation. Also, I love wearing the minimal sports bras from Gymshark on any type of upper body day because it just really shows off everything. Okay, and then moving on to an Arnold press, which you kind of just want to rotate the dumbbells as you're doing a shoulder press. This one's a little bit hard to explain and there are way more informative videos on the internet, but I just did 10 reps of those. I was originally using 10 kilos, but they were a little bit too heavy for me. And then I'm supersetting that with some lateral uh, raises, which really burn, as you can see by my facial expression. Someone was using the cable machine, so I decided to just fill in the time by doing some single arm dumbbell rows. You want to kind of imagine that you're bringing your elbow to your belly button rather than just going straight up and down. So I'm doing, I think, 10 reps each arm, and then I'm supersetting that with some bicep curls. Um, I'm using the 10 kilo bar, but I'm kind of keeping the bar in tension so I'm not going all the way up and I'm not going all the way down and then kind of going to a failure and then just adding in a 10 second hold which really burns out the biceps I only did two sets of those okay that was a really good session I was there for about an hour which I think is the perfect amount of time it's not too long but I'm able to kind of get everything in and whatnot. I've been back on these Optimum Nutrition Amino Energy drinks. <laughs> this is the blueberry lemonade flavor. The strawberry one is the best. It's so good. By no means do you need to have any of this if you're wanting to kind of get into fitness. I just think they taste phenomenal. And I got some fun day sweets because there's a chemist warehouse like right outside my gym and I just can't help myself. I just love getting these after the gym. I've been having the peach hearts a lot lately, but I decided to get the sour gummy bears they're very very chewy though i'm gonna head home now and i'll show you what i have for lunch because i completely forgot to fill my breakfast today but i had an egg wrap for my lunch today i'm gonna have one of my you foods because i can't be bothered cooking and i have a lot of them in the fridge so this this is the creamy garlic chicken kia and you chuck her in the microwave for two and a half minutes 
and Bob's your uncle. I've always been one to say I love cooking my lunch and preparing my food because it almost acts as like a break in my day, which it does, but sometimes, sometimes it is nice to just have it ready to go. So I will always put these in a bowl though because I don't want to eat it out of a container. Yum it. That smells so good. That is gonna be my lunch. It smells so good. It's like broccoli, sweet potato, I think. Actually, let me read what's in it. Creamy garlic chicken Kiev with chips and broccoli. 24.8 protein, 36.5 carb, and 13.5 fat. Hmm. Do you need to go out and do a wee? Do you do your wee's? So quick and so easy. It's funny, I'll either do this or I will do the most and like cook everything from scratch. There's no in between. <laughs> Okay, so for my lower body session, I'm starting out with some deadlifts. I actually haven't deadlifted in ages because I was sick and blah, 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 blah. So I didn't go super heavy, but I started out with doing 10 reps of about 60 kilos. I did three sets of 10 reps and then I did one set of four reps of 80 kilos and it actually felt pretty good. So I was happy with that. And then I moved on to hip thrusts. This is the second time that I've done them on a Smith machine and I think I like it. It's just hard to tell because I feel like my range of motion isn't as good. So this is more of like a cast glute bridge. I think that's how you say it. So I'm doing 10 reps and then kind of doing like little mini pulses at the top. I didn't film that though because I was just burnt out at this point as you can tell by the look on my face. And then we're moving over to leg curls, lying leg curls, and I'm trying to kind of control the rep on the way down. So we've got like nice time under tension there. And I did, I think 10 reps of this in three sets. And I also supersetted this with some calf raises, but I didn't film that. But I thought I would just throw that in for a bit of pizzazz. And then finishing off with some, what is this called? Back extension, back, right? Oh my God, I'm so stupid. But the main thing with this is I just wanna make sure that I'm not feeling it in my back and I'm feeling it in my glutes. So I'm not 100% obsessed with my form here, but I did feel it in my glutes and I didn't feel it in my back. I think I might need to like raise a little bit more, but considering when I first did these, they really hurt my back. So these are kind of a more personal preference movement, if you will. wraps the past couple days have not been working the more i make them the better at it i get so i put it in some um aluminium foil because it's falling apart but we've got lettuce cottage cheese dijon mustard ham red onion cherry tomato and i think that's it it's very hot so it's like an egg burrito today I am making pizza I feel like people sometimes get mad at me when I make the same food over and over again but I am just a creature of habit I cannot help it I find what I like and I stick to it and that is pizza yesterday was a very emotional day I literally cried like three times I am in the middle of my period which is probably about 85% of it but it's just a weird day I ended up having rice paper rolls for dinner and like a protein bar super random sometimes my dinners are so bizarre but yeah so far today I've had my egg wrap and I've also snacked on like veggies and some of these pea snaps so good but you literally get like four in a bag I swear but I would eat the entire bag if I got the big one 
And then I think for dinner tonight, I'm gonna have one of my you foods. I reckon I'm gonna do chicken and pumpkin risotto. While I'm chatting, I thought I would also insert kind of like a physique. I'm not update, update's the wrong word. What my physique currently looks like so I can kind of like document where I'm at so I can compare. I'm very, very happy with where I'm at. I feel like my glutes have definitely grown. It'll be interesting to see how my body composition changes with doing this cut, which now that I'm like a few days into it, which I've more so just been like starting to eat at maintenance <laughs> because I don't really know what I was eating before. And I ease myself into it because I personally find if I just like all of a sudden start eating a deficit, I get too hungry. It just doesn't work well for me. So slow and steady wins the race for me. And I'm not even really like properly tracking today, but I'm just gonna like roughly kind of know. And then once I kind of get in it more is when I like to hit, you know, my numbers and stuff. But right now I'm just kind of getting back into tracking and hitting my protein and just kind of staying around that like maintenance um, or like a slight deficit. So yeah. Oh, it's so like humid today. So my hair is just like, one day I'm gonna drop my pizza off. This is how I take it out of the oven. ASMR crunch. I'm gonna add some of this Nando's Perinase. It's so delicious. If it'll come. Someone should count up the amount of times that I've eaten pizza on my channel. Also, don't judge me, I need to do the dishes. The number would be atrocious, but look at that. She's gorgeous. Also having some water with some Diet Right Cordial. Does anyone else like pick off the food when you're eating something? Or eating like a pizza specifically? I tend to do that a lot. This challenge. I was in the mood to start. I had no idea who she was, but... my pizza but I'm having my dessert lunch <clears throat> so I just mixed it's this is bizarre I've got some Yopro yogurt bit of maple syrup and this the macro mic powdered almond butter in sweet original mm, so yum I think I'm actually gonna do a double session today so I want to make sure I'm eating probably a little bit more all right I'm just gonna end off this video here I ended up having that you foods for dinner which was so good oh my god I loved it it's kind of like a look into where I'm at with my fitness goals at the moment let me know if you want to see more like full days of eating and everything and I want to do weekly workouts I'll probably do like every now and then like a health diaries video in addition to like the weekly vlog but yeah I'm super excited to bring you guys along this journey with me hopefully it goes well <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. As always, I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.